New Blue Goo A mysterious blue goo creature has been spotted on the floor of the Caribbean. Scientists are stumped as to what the alien-looking blob could be. On August 30th, during a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association ocean exploration called Voyage to the Ridge 2022, scientists filmed what could be described as some sort of animal. The exploration expedition was intended to collect a variety of data, including acoustic data of seafloor and the geomorphology of the seafloor and below. NOAA hopes to improve our knowledge of the Atlantic Ocean's geology and how our actions affect deep-sea populations. A sponge, tunicate, and soft coral are among the theories scientists have thrown out as possible explanations for the bizarre blob. It's not quite gooish, but doesn't seem particularly not gooish, one scientist said. The Caribbean Sea has the highest biodiversity of the Atlantic Ocean, flowing with several species such as small coral and large sharks and rays. However, according to a report from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, this biodiversity is at risk, mostly due to human actions in the area. Pollution, including sewage, pesticides, and toxic substances entering the oceans can result in the uncontrollable growth of algae, leading to lower oxygen levels in the water. For now, the blue goo is yet to be positively identified. The mystery will remain until a sample can be collected, or until we can send some of these images, which are really high quality, to some coral expert and see if those could indeed be some sort of coral. Chimpanzees produce hunting bark It has long been understood that chimpanzees are one of humans' closest relatives. No other creature on Earth shares so many similarities with our own species, and although chimps are nowhere close to establishing booming civilizations and technology, they possess surprisingly human-like qualities of communication, social relationships, and emotions, among other things. Researchers have always studied this species very closely, so that they might better determine the link between us and them. Recently, scientists uncovered another piece of the puzzle with an interesting aspect of chimpanzee communication, the hunting bark. Although the primary source of nutrition for this species is foraged fruit, occasionally chimpanzees will hunt for meat in order to add some protein to their diet. And when they hunt, it seems that they have realized that there is strength in numbers as researchers identified what is known as a hunting bark that the apes use to recruit other members of their pack to join them, thereby increasing the chances of a successful hunt. When it comes to hunting monkeys as prey through the dense foliage where visibility is limited, efficient communication is key in encouraging effective collaboration and a successful hunt. Researchers believe this is why the hunting bark was developed. It appears that chimpanzees use these vocalizations to encourage cooperative behavior of the other apes in the community, alerting them to the hunt and convincing them to join in order to increase the chances for success, which, of course, means more food for all. This interesting discovery was made through the study of the Kanyawara community of chimpanzees in Uganda. Researchers leading the study compiled observations of hunting events within this community that took place over the course of 25 years. In all, there were over 300 events that contributed to the study, allowing researchers a full and expansive idea of how the hunting bark works within the community, as well as what purposes it ultimately serves for the individual and the community at large. The incredibly social nature of chimpanzees, including showing favorites, grooming habits, and even starting wars with other communities, often mirrors those of our own human dynamics. And the discovery of the hunting bark shows that, just like us, these apes know how to use effective communication to ensure that they can achieve their goals. Chimpanzees are, as far as we know, our closest living relative with regards to the evolution of humans. In fact, they share almost 99% of our genetic makeup. Researchers have long hoped that careful study of the apes could potentially help to uncover the evolutionary link that caused such a vast divide between humans and apes to occur with less than 2% of dissimilar DNA between us. Although these answers continue to elude researchers, the fascinating knowledge that has turned up as a result of this search has proven that we are much more similar in actions and emotions 
than at first believed. Giant Lake, discovered under Greenland, may be millions of years old. The country of Greenland is a huge place, with thousands of miles of still wild landmass. The country is, in many ways, a geological haven in a world where much of the Earth has been explored. And this view has been proven to be true, such as when scientists in 2020 discovered a giant ancient lake hiding beneath the country's surface. Beneath thick layers of ice and snow, far into the northwest region, sits a lake that could be thousands, if not millions, of years old. Greenland is home to the planet's second-largest ice sheet. Coming in behind Antarctica's gargantuan sheet, the Greenland sheet is also believed to hold plenty of fossil, bacterial, and geological mysteries deep in the underground. With global temperatures increasing, the great ice sheets have started to melt, which has begun to slowly reveal things hidden beneath the ice for millennia. This fossil lake bed discovery is just one of the more exciting examples. Such a geological formation has never been observed in this part of the world, but there could be plenty more hiding beneath the ice. In fact, it was during the same discovery expedition that scientists found more than 50 subglacial lakes under Greenland. Almost as if they were trapped in time, these bodies of water are completely thawed and exist between the country's bedrock and the giant ice sheet above them. But this specific lake is what scientists are most pleased to find. The discovery is what is known as an ancient lake basin, which dried up long ago and is now full of sedimentary goodies that span thousands of years. Researchers stated that during the time that the lake originally formed, there would have been no ice in the Greenland area. Amazingly, at its peak, the lake would have catered for enough water to cover approximately 7,100 square kilometers. That is the same size as the states of Delaware and Rhode Island combined. This could be an important repository of information in a landscape that right now is totally concealed and inaccessible, says lead researcher and glacial geophysicist Guy Paxman from Columbia University. The huge lake bed, now named Camp Century Basin, was initially spotted by NASA's Operation Icebridge mission, which is an airborne survey of the world's polar regions. We're working to try and understand how the Greenland ice sheet has behaved in the past, says Paxman. It's important if we want to understand how it will behave in future decades. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.